do we have any proof of ohm's law by miniature method that is taking the mass charge of electrons and the drift velocity etc answer is yes we can prove how we can prove see ohm's law says that v upon i is a constant now we will prove what is v upon i actually means in terms of electrons charge okay so i'll start from here v upon i this is equal to electric field multiplied by length this is to be divided by e e is as uh, i i is n e a and drift velocity okay this is equal to this is equal to e multiplied by length divided by n charge of electron area of conductor and drift velocity drift velocity is e e upon m into tau tau is relaxation period e is electric field so this is equal to n e into e e square this electric field electric field cancel out this is tau tau and here this m will jump up so this is m now this is l and this is e this v upon i is equal to m l n e square tau a this i will write here because i need this place m l upon n e square tau into a okay now we will study this particular expression which we have received this express what this express v upon i if this is v upon i and if it is a constant then we will say that v upon i is a constant okay now i tell you we have taken a conductor in which current is flowing here we apply potential difference and the current is flowing in it v and i are related to this conductor this has got a particular length and area during flow of the current the length and area are not changing unless we change this conductor l and a will not change so unless we change the conductor l and a are constants constants so we study this whole expression it has got l it has got a so i write here a and l are constants that means not change during flow of current for given conductor so for given conductor so these are conductor constants these are what conductor constants now other quantities n tau n is number density of electrons per unit volume how many electrons are there that is n tau is what relaxation time relaxation time for any given conductor become a constant if we are not changing the temperature okay this number density of electrons remain a constant for a given material this will change only if we change the material otherwise it will not change similarly tau will not change unless we change the material so n and tau both are constants for a given material so this we will write here n and n and tau at 
constant temperature or constants for a given material. This is for a given sample of conductor. From sample to sample, A and L may change, but N and T will change from material to material. Sample to sample, this will not change, this will remain same. So, sample to sample, only L and A will change, rest everything will remain a constant. But L and A, if we take one sample, then L and A will become constant, known as conductor constant for given sample. Okay, N and T are constants. Constants for a given material. Then, constant, 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 constant. E and M. E is charge on a electron and M is mass of electron. These itself are constants. Are electron constants and this will not change whatever material we take whatever sample we take so these are also constants now in this expression constant 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 all are constants for a given conductor so this is whole thing is a constant therefore therefore m l upon n e square tau a is a constant for given sample of conductor at constant temperature. Therefore, and what is this equal to? This is equal to V upon I. Therefore, V upon I is constant. And if V upon I is a constant, this is Ohm's law. This is Ohm's law. Hence proved. So what we have proved, V upon I is a constant and that is what Ohm said, that V upon I is a constant. We have taken help of these miniature characteristics. Okay, so this you will write as proof of the Ohm's law. So, uh, now in the next chapter we will again come back to relations of uh, resistance and uh, details of the resistance. Thank you.